G'day viewers. G'day viewers. On today's podcast, we speak to Ed. G'day viewers. On today's podcast. G'day viewers. On today's podcast, we speak to Ebony McLaughlin, one of the most beautiful women in the world, who is a fitness and health guru here on the Gold Coast. Uh, she walks it like she talks it, and um, and well, here she is. <laughs> Listen to me. I don't even know how to do intros, and I'm probably going to stop doing intros very soon. But over to you, Ebs. Let's go. Ow! Yeah! Oh, yeah! 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 Ebony McLaughlin. No. Yeah, McLaughlin. That's Uh-oh. a kind of weird way to spell it, that I saw. It is. It is a little bit different. Um, I do sometimes have to pronounce it McLaughlin. Yeah. McLaughlin, yeah. Yeah, because that's how it's spelled. We'll try having their last name, Cruck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Spell uh, that. Yeah. And they always go, oh, it's just like, oh, yeah, it is just like that. Yeah. Well, at least you've got an easy first name. Because for me, my name is, it comes across as, what do I get on the phone? Stephanie. Stephanie or oh. um, what else? Or Emily. I would expect I you to be um, a black person. Yes. Do you get that? Uh, oh, not, not by your voice. <laughs> but, you know, the, the name yes. Ebony. Why do they call you Ebony? You know, you yeah, it was actually I was, word. Na- I was named after a um, a, a horse. My dad, really? yeah, my dad was a big punter, wow. and I think it. Yeah, when Mum was pregnant, um, I think that horse might have won Dad a lot of money at the time. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that, I, I would find that. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd want to find that horse, like, yeah. um, and just yeah. What was that all about? I know. That's Crazy. cool. Yeah. Obviously, it was a great horse. Obviously, great enough that he named his daughter after that horse. What a champion. Very good. You'd have to think you're a bit of a champion. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, you're cool. I, you know. You can't talk yourself up. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about um, uh, you last night, right? And the first time I met you um, was probably, I don't know, 10 years ago or something. Yeah. And yeah, at maybe. the time. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yep. And at the time you were, um, I overheard that you were working for shooters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, and I thought, of, I remember at the time going, Ugh. like for me, I, I want to ask you a bunch of questions after this. Yeah. For me, Shooters Nightclub on the Gold Coast, which I don't even, even think is there anymore. It, is it? It is. The, oh, I think it's there. They might have. It burnt, they, oh, it burnt yeah. down and then I think they restarted it again. I'm not sure if they've kept the same name. I think they might have. It's a bit of an institution. On the right. Gold yeah. Coast. Yeah. It was, it, it, you know, one of those places like, like Cocktails and Dreams yeah. is pretty much the same place, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah very close. But everyone went to shooters in the most horrible times. Yeah. And, and everyone from Logan, every, everyone from yeah. out of town migrated to shooters. They were always on the radio stations and go to shooters and like, ah, yeah. it wasn't that bad. It's funny that you actually bring that up because I, in the last, I mean, it's been, what, eight, seven, maybe seven years since I worked there. Mm. Actually, probably less, maybe six. So the, for me, thinking back that far, it feels like a lifetime ago yeah. and it's so far from where I'm at in my life right now. Mm. So, yeah, it's crazy. Of course. What I w- really wanted to ask you is like I think at the time I'd just finished working in a bar. Like so I knew – but it was a really small country little bar so it wasn't anything like a nightclub. I just kept thinking of all the glass, you know, all the glass that has to be taken back to things. And yeah. were you in promotions or running something like this? So yeah. I was behind the scenes. So I, I wouldn't actually do uh, – I was supposed to be in there a lot of nights but I really hated going yeah. at night. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I But mean. I was there um, right. I was there during the day, so the office hours. So I was actually involved oh, in doing better. a lot of the marketing and events and right. all the fun stuff and then I'd just rock up and all the other people oh. would do all the work. Well, that's better. Yeah. That's yeah. better. Yeah. I was, I was never – I loved – going out and at that time I was probably just on the cusp of really getting over the nightlife. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I took on the job at the time. I, I wanted to find a marketing job because that's what I studied at uni and that's what I wanted to do at the time. Right. But, um, yeah, it was really the, – there was no decent marketing jobs at the time and I just mm. applied and got it. a big name company. Yeah. It's the kind of thing that made me remember yeah. that you worked at this big, you know what I mean? Yeah, like it, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a great experience and I try not to regret anything, but I did learn a lot and I I learned that I was probably over that whole scene of yeah. nightclubs and Well, I sort of I, I was a barman at this pub and I'd always uh I 
I went, yeah, this is actually a really social kind of job. It was right, kind of cool. But then came this six-month, eight-month period where I went, oh, people became sheep. I, yeah. I felt like I was serving these same sort of people with yeah. problems. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You get you to know familiar yeah. faces, who you liked when you first met. Oh, here comes Dave again. He's here every day. So true. Then all of a sudden, just, whoa, Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We need some time you out. You need to go home, mate. Yeah. You know. And that's, a, and I think a lot for me at that time when I was getting out of it, it's sort of like, I think going out and drinking, it can solve a lot of problems at the time, but it can also create a lot of problems. So you're sort of avoiding maybe things that need to happen in your life. And yeah. for me, um, you know, going out on the weekends and getting really drunk and, you know, having a laugh, it's it's fun every now and again. But when it starts to become just a weekend routine, it's like, what, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. You should be, you know, focusing on things that you're passionate about. Exactly. And you know, the... Um, I wonder, right? So that about that time, right? I don't think I think Facebook uh, wasn't about yet. No, maybe you know. It was I was actually annoying people by putting events oh. and adding everyone to it. I do remember right. doing that. So I think it was just Instagram yeah. definitely wasn't around. Um, Twitter was sort of just coming out. Yeah, but yeah, Facebook was was the you know how you promoted a lot of events. Yeah, so, and what I mean by that is that I'm noticing. Particularly now, so that, that let's pretend it was ten years, okay? Yeah, I think Facebook's is ten years old now. Yeah. Isn't that um, weird? Yeah, it is. Ah. Yeah, but um, uh, I'm noticing because I'm I, like you know I've got a second job doing in a cover band. Yeah, I'm noticing the kids. Trades. When I t- say the kids, I mean like the twenty year old dudes, yeah. right? They don't come to these Pops. pubs anymore. Yeah, they really don't. Like your, um, uh, say the the. The twenty-year-olds of today are yep. so much healthier, mm. in my opinion. Absolutely. When I was twenty, all we knew was going to the local pub, yep. getting hammered because there was we didn't we couldn't see the rest of the world for a no. start on the internet. Yeah, that's so we, right. We just did you what weren't influenced. older kids you were do. Probably influenced by the people around you, not so much the greater yeah. world, which is yeah, that's so true. I've just noticed that in the last. I think four, maybe three, four years, how much things have changing yeah. for the better. Yeah. Yeah. With the That's help great. of um, like photos. Yep. Absolutely. You know? I, I think before Facebook, there was a time in my life um, and I wasn't a good person too sort of thing. I was um, just doing rough pool painting and, and this and that. But I didn't look in a mirror or have a photo taken. My, you know, my wife and I actually didn't take any photos of each, each other for a few years and together there was a time yeah and then yep. it, i think it wasn't until myspace got created that i found myself looking at myself in the mirror again going oh i don't really like what i see mm. these photos that i'm all of a sudden seeing there's been a whole yep. three-year period there like yeah i don't yep. know and I'll, I'll bet it's kind of has that effect on the kids today yeah you you're, li- you're living in becoming oh. a bit more body conscious yeah. yeah i can totally relate with that and i think for me um when i first came onto the the fitness scene as a um as a personal trainer and I was also doing a lot of fitness competitions at the time it was very much about it, it began with a body thing a body image I wanted right. to I was always what I call skinny fat so yeah. I did a lot of cardio and and um you know I wanted to look good in a in a dress yeah. um and yeah so I thought you know by doing a competition it might change my overall shape but it wasn't so much for me about creating a healthy lifestyle at the time it was definitely more what was on the outside and it's probably yeah it been in the last two years that it's become and it's probably an age thing as well I've just turned 30 in December and I'm now thinking more about inner happiness and mm. you know what uh, being healthy for the for the inside not so yeah. much what's going on on the outside yeah. Which I see, I still get a lot of inquiries that come through from younger girls in their early twenties, and mm. they're like, "Oh, I just want to, you know, tone up, and you know, yeah. I want, I want to, you know, a, yeah, a nice, in your dress. Yeah, yeah, I want to look good." And and it's like, okay, well, I'm I'm happy to help them get to there, but I really spend time working on that inner yeah. stuff as well. Yeah, brilliant. Because mm. you would, well, I guess, what you're saying is what I've come to acknowledge too is that, yeah, you do into this uh, fitness thing, like mm. they are saying, I just mm. need to, de- I just want to look, I'm just sick of being this and this and this. Yeah. And then, and all of a sudden they realize, hang on, this actual lifestyle of, of doing that exercise every day 
makes me feel so good. Absolutely. And yeah. it makes people around me and the rest of the world yeah. uh, look at me differently all of a sudden. Yeah. Like I, I, my life is better from just from other people acknowledging that I'm a healthy person. Yeah, and, it's so infectious. Yeah. And that's what I got addicted to. So yeah. addicted to – even when now, like, you know, I'm no saint. I still love to have red wine and chocolate and all of that sort of stuff. But if I overindulge. Have red wine and chocolate together. It's yeah, so I good. I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is my thing. I stretched my out thing, Easter forever. My thing. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, but, yeah, it's like, you know, maybe I might overindulge and have something a little bit off what I'd normally eat on a regular good week. And then I remember. Okay. Yeah. This but is, or, or more yeah. to the point, I bet you it just feel yuck. Yeah. It's not yeah, not so much up. about guilt anymore. Oh, no. It's just like actually, okay, yeah. I'm so I feel so healthy now that yeah. I feel yuck. Yeah, yuck. yeah. But Are it's you- funny when back in the day that was kind of an every second day thing, or I'd always have something a bit naughty every day, and and now it's like I don't need that. Like I I can mm. feel good yeah. without stuffing my face with something. Yep. Anyway, feeling good is so good. Yeah. I find I laugh a lot mm. now. Like I actually have been thinking these last few weeks. That uh, talking to regular normal people, um, uh, because as you, pro- I've probably bored you guys already. But I, you know, I'm into running. I can't stop running down the beach every day and yeah. getting in that cold water. I've replaced surfing with running yeah. in a way. Yeah. But so how far are you running at the moment? It's only five k's. You know, but five it's a five k's. Yeah, five k's in so- and every day. Soft to sand is, is you know harder every day. Yeah, every day. But it's um, just to fit in with my work, I guess. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my genuine have to do that, you know, have to feel that cold feeling from the cold water every morning yep. to get me through that through work. So it's, it's, um, probably, uh, enough, you know, but you're in the industry, so you, you mm. know a lot more about it, but the, mm. what I was getting at there, um, just the feel, feeling good vibe and just make, you know, it's oh yeah, your, yeah, your it's thing. actually changed my brain chemistry, yeah. I think. I actually think where I was on the side of going, uh, little sort of side jokes, you know, there was always jokes in my life, but but now I kind of tend to actually laugh. Yeah. Every, in every yeah. sentence I almost yeah. say it. Like a little I bit more laugh. authentic. My and, brain's going, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, the last time I saw you, or the time before I saw you, it was about, it must have been about 5.30 in the morning at the Crumbin Steps. Yeah. Yep. I think you're yep. doing a class there, so <laughs> something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I've got a um, a boot camp which I run down there and I also train some clients down there as well. So I do some one-on-ones, um, which, yeah, 5.30 in the morning, it's the best time of the day. It's actually – well, I do normally start at 5.45, but, yeah, yeah it's right. awesome yeah. getting the workout first thing. I have to ask you, though, because I'm from a, a life of rock and roll and, and stage stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm a midnight guy, yeah. you know. It is a struggle for me to wake up early, but I do appreciate it. Mm. Mm, I actually um, what do. What time work- do you go to bed? Yeah. Well, I, because my um, partner, who you know very well, yep. fiance guy, uh, he um, starts work at like, uh, like just before six. So we're both pretty knackered when it comes to seven o'clock at night. <laughs> really? <laughs> I've kind of done my day. Like I, I'll wake up at four, quarter to five every yeah. morning, and then I sort of have my morning routine, which I follow, and then get into my client stuff and and um yeah seven o'clock comes around and i am done ready for done. Wow. sleep my Snooze wife's the time. same she's like nine nine o'clock nine thirty yeah you know yeah but you know i think that's how i got into all this podcast stuff to be honest because i my, my body clock's still awake yeah so yeah. i found myself going ah no more tv but replaced it with other stuff other creating stuff. these other things yeah. but yeah. I, i'm really envious though yeah just last just two days ago i had steve dart this, the, the Red Bull guy, I, you know. I, yeah, yeah, I listen to that. Well, yeah, yeah he's up at four every morning. And, and the reason I asked him that is because um, the more more I read about exceptional people, um, or Arnold Schwarzenegger is, is famous for first saying it really, he's up at four every day. He does, yeah. and you must exercise be, as soon as you wake up. Yeah. I mean, everyone's going to have a different time of day that works for them with in regards to getting a workout in. Like some people, obviously, you know, they've got kids and – running around whatever they've got to do and they can only fit it in in the afternoons. For me, I I used to be a morning exerciser, but now with clients and things like that, I just try and fit it in when I can right. for myself. But, but still, you're, you've done it, yeah. you know, seven. It's a, how about all the 24-hour gyms about? 
I know. know? Yeah. Oh, that's good for people. It is. Some people just finish work. Oh, I've got to finish work 10.30, but they've, they've learned that they need to actually exercise today. 